Welcome to our journey into the heart of self-discovery, a journey toward understanding and embracing who we truly are. Today, we begin this voyage by unraveling the concept of self-awareness. But what is self-awareness? Picture a mirror held up against your soul, reflecting your true essence, your behaviors, and your interactions with the world. This mirror doesn't distort or sugarcoat, it simply shows what is. In this realm of self-understanding, two key components stand out, internal self-awareness and external self-awareness. Internal self-awareness is akin to diving into a tranquil lake within us. It's about understanding our own values, passions, aspirations, and emotions. It's about asking ourselves, what truly matters to me? External self-awareness, on the other hand, is like standing on a bustling street corner, observing how others perceive us. It's about recognizing our impact on those around us, understanding how our actions and behaviors are interpreted by others. It's a dialogue between our internal world and the external one. Now picture these two components as two sides of a coin, both distinct yet both necessary to form the whole. They complement and balance each other, creating a holistic vision of who we are and how we navigate our world. But why is self-awareness so important? Well, imagine trying to navigate a ship without a compass. It's challenging, right? Self-awareness is our compass. It guides us through the vast ocean of life, helping us make mindful decisions, build stronger relationships, and ultimately lead more fulfilling lives. Without self-awareness, we are like a ship adrift on the sea, blown about by winds of circumstance. With it, we become the captains of our lives, steering our ship towards our goals, dreams, and destinies. So friends, let's embark on this journey together. Let's embrace the challenge, celebrate the discoveries, and revel in the growth that comes with becoming more self-aware. After all, why is self-awareness so important? Because it lays the foundation for personal growth. It allows us to make more mindful decisions, build stronger relationships, and lead more fulfilling lives. Internal self-awareness is about looking inward. It's about going beyond the surface, beyond the roles we play and the expectations others have of us. It's about digging deep into our core, into our heart and soul, to uncover our true selves. But what does that mean exactly? Imagine standing in front of a mirror that reveals not just your physical appearance, but your thoughts, your feelings, your values, your dreams, your fears, and your passions. That's what internal self-awareness is. It's seeing yourself as you truly are, not as you wish to be, or as others perceive you to be. Now, why is this important? Because when you understand yourself, you can live authentically. You can align your actions with your values, pursue your true passions, and make decisions that truly reflect who you are. You can stop trying to fit into molds that don't suit you and start living in a way that feels natural and fulfilling. Internal self-awareness also allows us to better understand our emotions. We all experience a wide range of emotions every day, from joy and love to anger and fear. By being aware of these emotions, we can better manage them. We can learn to respond to them in healthy ways rather than reacting impulsively. This can lead to improved relationships, better mental health, and a greater sense of inner peace. So how do we cultivate internal self-awareness? It starts with being curious about ourselves. It involves asking ourselves questions and being open to the answers, even if they're uncomfortable. It means taking time to reflect on our experiences, our reactions, and our choices. It means being honest with ourselves, even when it's hard. Remember, internal self-awareness is a journey, not a destination. It's not about achieving a state of perfect self-knowledge, but about continually striving to understand ourselves better. It's about being kind to ourselves, forgiving ourselves for our mistakes, and celebrating our successes. It's about embracing the unique, beautiful, complex individuals that we are, in the end, it's about asking ourselves, what truly matters to me? Because when we live in alignment with what truly matters to us, we can lead happier, healthier, more fulfilling lives. On the flip side, external self-awareness involves understanding how others perceive us. 
External self-awareness is a fascinating aspect of our self-discovery journey. It's like holding up a mirror to our interactions and seeing how our words, actions, and behaviors are interpreted by those around us. This mirror reflects more than just our image, it reflects our impact, our influence, and our place in the world. We all have a certain image of ourselves, an idea of who we are, but how often do we pause to consider how others see us? How often do we question if the image we project aligns with our self-perception? That's where external self-awareness comes in. When we cultivate external self-awareness, we open ourselves to feedback, both positive and negative. We learn to listen, really listen, to what others are saying about us. We don't shy away from criticism, but rather, we see it as a chance to grow, to evolve. We understand that feedback, when given constructively, is a gift that helps us to better understand our strengths and areas for improvement. But remember, external self-awareness isn't about becoming overly concerned with others' opinions or losing our authenticity in an attempt to please everyone. That's not the goal. The goal is to gain a balanced understanding of how we're perceived, to see if there are gaps between our intentions and our impact, and if so, how to bridge them. Consider this, have you ever said something intending it to be funny, only to have it taken the wrong way? Or maybe you thought you were being helpful, but the other person found you overbearing. These are instances where our intentions don't match our impact, and they highlight the importance of external self-awareness. By developing this understanding, we're better equipped to navigate our relationships, our careers, and our lives. We become more empathetic, more communicative, and more effective in our interactions. External self-awareness, then, is not just about understanding how we are seen, but also about understanding how we can be better. It's about acknowledging our influence and taking responsibility for it. It's recognizing the impact we have on those around us. And when we understand that impact, we can strive to make it a positive one. Let's put this into practice with a simple reflection exercise. The road to self-awareness begins with introspection, and this exercise is designed to help you start that process. It's not a test, so there are no right or wrong answers, just an opportunity to reflect on your own experiences and perceptions. First, find a quiet place where you can sit comfortably and focus. You'll need a pen and paper or a digital note-taking device. We're about to explore some questions that will help you gain insight into your own self-awareness. Let's start with something simple. What are three words you would use to describe yourself? Don't rush. Take your time. It might be helpful to consider what you value most about yourself or what traits you believe define you. Next, consider how others might see you. What are three words a close friend would use to describe you? This question is about understanding the external perspective. It's not about judging whether their perception is right or wrong, but simply acknowledging that their viewpoint may be different from your own. Now, let's delve a little deeper. Think about a recent situation where you felt proud of yourself. Can you identify why you felt that way? This question is about recognizing your values and understanding what motivates you. Lastly, reflect on a time when you felt misunderstood. Why do you think there was a disconnect? This question is about exploring the gap between your intentions and how they may be perceived by others. It's an opportunity to reflect on your communication style and consider if there might be room for improvement. Remember, there's no rush. This exercise is not a race. It's an opportunity to pause, reflect, and gain insight into your own self-awareness. The answers may not come immediately, and that's okay. The value lies in the process of reflection itself. Take your time with these questions. They're the first step in peeling back the layers of who you are and who you want to become. This is your journey. And every step, no matter how small, is a step forward in the path of self-discovery. Self-awareness is a journey, not a destination. This profound statement is the essence of what we've been discussing. It's the understanding that self-awareness isn't a box to be checked off, but rather an ongoing dynamic process of introspection 
observation and growth. We've explored the two critical aspects of self-awareness, the internal, where we delve into our own values, passions and emotions, and the external, where we strive to comprehend how others perceive us. We've also highlighted the importance of self-awareness in our personal growth journey. It's the foundation upon which we build our relationships, make mindful decisions and ultimately lead more fulfilling lives. It's the compass that guides us in the right direction, aligning our actions with our core values and aspirations. But remember, this is just the beginning. As we move forward, our understanding of ourselves will deepen and our perspective will broaden. We'll uncover layers of our personality we never knew existed and we'll learn to appreciate our strengths and work on our weaknesses. In our next module, we'll be delving into a crucial aspect of self-awareness, understanding your values. This segment will help you identify what truly matters to you in life, what motivates you and what you stand for. These values are the guiding principles that dictate your behavior and actions. They are the backbone of your character and play a significant role in your decision-making process. Knowing them will not only boost your self-awareness, but also enhance your authenticity and integrity. So, are you ready to take a step further on this journey of self-discovery? Are you prepared to unravel the values that shape your identity? If so, I can't wait to see you in our next module. Thank you for taking this first step with me today. Subscribe and join us as we continue to explore the path to personal growth together. Remember, the journey to self-awareness is one of the most rewarding journeys you can embark on. Don't forget to like and subscribe.